Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name's Anne Marie and today I have an box of stories unboxing. I also have laryngitis so I'm not actually supposed to be talking. Um, we're going to try and get through this video anyway. So, um, this is another build your own box. This was an accidental purchase one um, because I didn't realise that the money would go out the same day as I like, ordered it. I thought it might go out like for when I set it because I wanted to add it as a subscription. But this has got one fantasy, one crime and two young adult books in it. With a box of stories, you get four surprise books, or two surprise books, depending on which one you pick. Um, and the genres vary depending on which genre you decide to pick. Um, yeah, so you can pick like certain boxes. You can get two or four books of uh, fantasy, sci-fi, light reads, historical fiction, non-fiction, crime history, thriller. I think you have a mixed sci-fi and fantasy box that you can get as well or you can um, build your own box where you can pick four genres so you can pick four different genres or two fantasy, two young adult or two sci-fi and two young adult or two crime mystery thriller and two fantasy whatever that you want like I said, this is a fantasy crime mystery thriller and two young adult books. So, with a box of stories, they like to um, save books uh, because like 77 million books a year are destroyed. Um, and a lot of them are books that people haven't, like, um, heard of because they haven't had as much money given to them by publishers and things like that. Um, so this is it's in here and um, it looks I'm gonna say it looks like there's five boxes in here but it's not. In every box you get um, a little postcard which has your subscribe superpowers on it. So uh, it tells you on the back like um, you can unlock prizes for every third box, so sometimes you get an extra box, sometimes you get a discount. Um, you can choose how often you want it, so one, two, three, four months um, in, in between boxes. Um, you can swap boxes anytime you want, so say you get uh, a light reads box this month, next month you can swap it for a young adult if you want to try and you know, see which one suits you best which is what I'm doing at the minute and you can pause your subscription anytime you want so now let's have a look at the book shall we so the first book is called Spider Touch by Alex Thompson uh -huh. okay. when he was a boy Rasburn trained as a translator for the hated Gida the mute enslavers of his city Falcadric. They keep a tight hold on the citizens by forcing their children to work in dangerous mines until they turn 18. By learning finger speak, the key to touch language. Rasbun was able to avoid such a punishment and has acted out a quiet life for himself as an interpreter for the key to court. He does not enjoy his work, but keeps his head down as the Gita rewards any parental misdemeanors with extra lashings for their children. But now the city is under siege by a new army who might be even more crucial, cruel than the Gita. At the same time, a mysterious rebellion reaches out to Rasban to utilise the incoming attack to defeat the Gita once and for all. Rasban must decide which side to fight on, who can be trusted, and what truly deserves to be saved. So this is the fantasy book. 
and it says that it's filed under linguistical nightmares. Came and willing, knuckle up, and silence isn't colder. So, um, it sounds interesting, but it doesn't really sound fantasy to me. It sounds for science fiction. Um, but yeah, I get you know, like touching people and being able to language or whatever. Um, yeah. I don't see. Uh, next we have um, track it, Tracks by Tanya Rebenswader. Um, I think this is a young adult. It says, this is the story of Jack Lafayette, a young French boy is often and torn away from everything he knows, forced to move to England to live with his guardian, the pompous and distant Oliver Clark. Jack finds himself in a strange country, in a strange world. As the years pass, Jack becomes part of the Clark family and learns to love again. But then his feelings for Olivia's daughter, Rebecca, become stronger. A development that has the power to bring the two together or tear the family apart. Interesting. And it's on page 300 pages. Nice. Sounds interesting. Search of Us by Ava Delaria and the pages have come pulled on the beginning because um, uh, the book was stuffed inside like that. Angie considers herself unremarkable. She likes history and science, running hard, grilled cheese with fern edges. But today, everything will change. Photo in an old box in a drawer of her teenage mother with a boy she's never seen before, and yet Angie knows instantly that it isn't her father, the father who died before she was born. But Angie begins to understand that there are things she has not been told, things that Angie now needs to know more than anything. And so she sets off in search of her father's story, her mother's story, and her own story, because her because she comes to realise the missing pieces of this matter. It sounds really cool. Moon Daughter's first love road trip. That's a uh, strong language. And that's really good. The writing's quite big as well, so that'll be nice. Just under 400 pages. Yeah. I've been really liking the sound of all the young adult books that I've been getting out of the box of stories box lately. I think I might stick with the young adult as um, a theme for my boxes. Okay, and the third book, the fourth book is No Gods, No Monsters by Cat Turnbull. This one says it's also fantasy, but one should be a crime book, so. Uh, one October morning, Lena gets the news that her brother has been shot and killed by Boston cops. But what looks like a case of pre police brutality soon reveals something much stranger. Monsters are real. And they want everyone to know it. As creatures from myths and legends come out of the shadows, their emergence sets off chain of seemingly unrelated events. Members of a local werewolf pack threatened into silence. A professor follows a missing friend to a mysterious street society the secret A professor follows a missing friend to a mysterious secret society and a young boy with unique abilities seeks refuge in a pro monster organization with secrets of its own. Meanwhile 
more people start disappearing, suicides and hate crimes increase, and protests erupt, global, erupt globally, but for and against the monsters. Meanwhile, more people start disappearing, suicides and hate crimes increase, and protests erupt globally, both for and against the monsters. Why now? What has frightened the monsters out of the dark? The world will soon find out. So this must be the crime book. This whole interesting because it's got like bits of fantasy in it too, which is like my thing. Fantasy. Um, happy to get it on the go. Um, Who's <coughs> by four books? The one I'm most interested in reading is uh, this one. What I'm least interested in reading is this one, but that's more because I'm not really a crime person, but I want to get into crime, which is why I added it to this box. Um, when you add up like, the price of what all these books would have cost, it comes to more than the box, which is always because um, that always happens. Like in the last video, I will leave links to the books down below just in case you didn't hear what they were about properly. Um, and I will also leave the Goodreads ratings in the description below. I will also leave a link to the box of stories down below as well so that you can check them out for yourself. So that's all from me today. If you like this video, show like. If you want to see more from me, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!